Cruise ship coronavirus case falls alarm. The incident, after a month without incident, Singapore's cruise nowhere pilot suffered its first hiccup on 9 December 2020 after a positive case was detected. The Quantum of the Seas a cruise ship had to turn back three days into the four-day voyage after a 83-year-old uh, Singaporean man underwent polymerase chain reaction PCR testing that produced a positive result for the coronavirus. He had reported to the onboard medical center of diarrhea the previous day. His close contacts were immediately isolated and all tested negative. The Ministry of Health subsequently conducted two tests one with the original sample using the PCR test, and the other with a new sample, but both came back negative. While going back to the dock, the passengers aboard the ship were confined to their rooms. They reacted calmly and were cooperative. All passengers and crew were disembarked at the Marina Bay Cruise Center by uh, midnight, and after undergoing antigen rapid testing that came back negative, they were allowed to exit the terminal. The ship will be deep cleaned and disinfected as a precaution, with the crew scheduled for the sim ship today being cancelled. What conclusions can we draw from the incident? The government has already put in place necessary contact tracing and isolation protocols to manage such contingencies, and safety measures such as a reduction in passenger capacity to 50% were already implemented. The fact that the incident was acted upon so swiftly was a sign that our system is working as intended. On the same day, the World Dream cruise ship departed from the Marina Bay Cruise Center and has continued to operate as scheduled. This shows that the sector is not very shaken up by the incident, and that the cruise to nowhere pilot is still going ahead as planned.